Today, I'm going to be joining forces with Israel's Magen David Adom to help fight and save lives by detecting coronavirus patients. I'm going to be volunteering and helping professional medics do their job. Let's fight this virus together. All right, guys, I've arrived at MADA's main national emergency center where there's a lot of the people who are now volunteering and helping saving lives here in Israel. So because it was not enough space in there for all the people, so they built a whole tent. Hi, nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> this is your shirt, the suicide. אנחנו <laughs> עושה עבודה מצוינת במגן דוד אדום, יחד איתה יש פה עשרות רבות של עובדים ומתנדבים, הם למעשה מנהלים את הארגון, מנהלים את האירועים ביום יום ונותנים את המענה למדינת ישראל ולכל אירועי הקורונה פה. במגן דוד אדום עובדים גם נוצרים וגם ערבים וגם יהודים, כולם פה על בסיס אחד. נותנים שירות לכל אחד ללא הבדל של דת, גזע ומין. זה עיקרון השוויון שלנו, ומי ששובר אותו במגן דוד אדום לא יכול להיות לא מתנדב ולא עובד. ואתה חושב שאני יכול לשבת באיזה מקום אחד כזה? יש פוטנציאלים, אני חושב, אני... אני חושב שאת... שאתה יכול לשבת במקום הרבה יותר טוב רז, ולא רק במוקד, אני חושב שאתה יכול לשבת על ניידת טיפול רץ, להיות פרמדיק מצוין, וחבל לבזבז אותך פה. אז עכשיו אני הולך לבית שלי, יש לי את המטרנר פה. היי. מעולה, מה קורה? אז יכולה להסביר בבקשה מה העבודה שאמרו לי לעשות פה היום בבוקר? אז אנחנו מגיעים, קודם כל פותחים את המערכת, מתחילים לעבור על הכמות מקרים שיש לנו. יש לנו מקומות עם יותר מקרים, מקומות עם פחות מקרים, לפי הכיוון של הכמות מקרים. הבנתי. זאת אומרת, אם יש יותר מקרים, אנחנו נשמע שיש שם סד"כ יותר גבוה של עבודה. כל צבע של אמבולנס. אמבולנס זה צבע... אמבולנס זה כל מיני צבעים. יש להם צבעים של סטטוסים שהם נמצאים, הם בדרך למקרה, חוזרים ממקרה. אזור פתח תקווה. באזור פתח תקווה כרגע לדעתי עובדים משהו כמו ארבעה צוותים של דוברים. הפיק הראשוני אכן היה בתקופה הראשונה, זה הלחיץ הרבה יותר, זה לא היה מוכר לנו, והיו המון 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 שיחות. אין ספק שהקורונה הגבירה את העומס, אבל הלחץ הוא אותו לחץ, וזה עדיין הצלת חיים. שלום, אני רז ממד"א, ואני פה כדי להודיע לך שאנחנו עושים בדיקה שנייה, בדיקת קורונה שנייה. אנחנו מגיעים, אנחנו ננסה להגיע בשעה הקרובה, יש לי פרמדיק שעל הדרך. איפה אתה בדיוק? אני רוצה להגיד אותה בכתובת שלך. מה הכתובת שלך בדיוק שאני פשוט יאשר? הלו, סליחה, מדבר פה, זה הדוגם, איתי? אוקיי, אני פה מדבר, יש פה מישהו על הקו שרוצה לדבר איתך ושל המטופל לבדיקה שנייה. אתה מגיע אליו? אוקיי. Right now we're going to a patient to examine, uh, to take a test for the COVID-19 in his house. You're gonna join me. I have a spare suit for you. Are okay. you feeling scared? Because I'm a little bit nervous now. My worst fear is not to get infected, but uh, to infect my family. Oh, right. So this is the apartment we're going to go inside. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. We're gonna suit up. Uh, close as much as to the apartment okay. because we don't want to cause uh, panic to the neighborhood. Oh, so you make, make sure people don't see us. Yeah, let's do that. So Itai, you know it's hard to get masks in Israel these days. Uh, what do you do when you don't have a mask? Well, uh, you need to improvise, uh, something like this. <laughs> <laughs> 
How many patients do you check a day? We try to do the best. I think uh, about around eight, maybe ten houses a day. Any story that happened to you that you remember? Uh, yeah, I went to a house to examine two sisters. Since the moment I walked in, I saw tears in their eyes. And they told me that their parents are in the hospital oh. because of the COVID-19. Their father is uh, seriously ill. He's unconscious and ventilated by the machine. They're looking at me and I want to hug them, but you can't because it's very dangerous where you are with your suit. You know, you need to give the people the hope they need. So you balance so many things. You are a MADA a medic, you are a student, and you are an intern in a tech company. Do you ever feel tired? Yeah, man, I'm exhausted. It's uh, very tired. You know, you wake up, you examine people all day, then you go back and you need to do to watch uh, online lessons for the university. Why do you do this job? What makes you every day wake up and do this job? Uh, first of all, it's the passion to help people. And I think uh, it's a duty as a citizen in this country. Uh, Expertise. I don't think I'm special or something, but I think the more of the people uh, will help, the faster we get out from this situation. Stay home, save lives. Stay home, save lives. Now we're gonna check out the third part of my job and the last one today, where I'm gonna learn about what it's like to be in a drive-in and check people as they come through the car, just like you're going through some fast food chains that drive through. You can take your car and come in and get uh, checked for Corona. So if you see here, this is the big, big fridge where they store all the coronavirus test kits. So here is a new ambulance prepared just for the current testing. You see they built a new way to test where the person inside the tester sits there. The patient comes here and he can through this entire mechanism here can get tested by coming up to the car. The cars are gonna come in from here and I'm gonna show you quickly before I come help here what they do here. These guys are taking in First thing, you should leave all the windows closed until you're getting checked. Number two is that when you reach this place, you might show your QR code uh, to be able to get tested on site. And then they will do this test where they go up to your mouth and nose to take your saliva. There will be a short, short thing. And you see they're trying to be the good mood. I think people are dancing a bit here at the back. And let's wish them all the best. I know they're really putting their lives on the line. So thank you guys. Thank you to all the coronavirus testers all around the world. Everyone should be in good spirits as though it's a very tough time for us. But I hope that these kind of drive-ins will help get more tests and we'll find out how many infected are in Israel and we'll be able to fight it faster. All right, I'm back home. I couldn't get everything on camera today in order to work more efficiently and give the space and privacy needed for everyone. This video today serves a purpose to show you that there is amazing people helping us. The doctors, the nurses, the medics, the volunteers, the people answering our calls and people coming to our doors and in the drive-ins. You're putting your lives at risk for us. I'm really happy I got to be part of this and I hope to continue doing this for the next weeks and months until this whole COVID-19 is over here in Israel. I hope anyone watches this video can share and repost this. Any income of this video is going to be donated directly to MADA as well. It will be very helpful and thoughtful if anyone wants to be part of this. As long as some action is done as humans, as societies, as a global world, we will be able to win this virus. We can beat this virus together because we got each other's back.